Okay. So we've got some moisture in the air, of course, the humidity as well, yeah. Paige, and that could act as fuel later. We take that with the heat mm. and some stuff stirring in the atmosphere, and that could give us a severe weather as we go later on into this afternoon. So we're talking about severe weather later today and then intense heat later in the week. Make sure you scan the QR code right there, and that will get you to the Coast TV weather app. You can track the temperatures and the storms we're expecting later today. Look at our five-day temperature trend, 88 today. That's normal, but then we bounce it up to 91 Wednesday, and then it gets really hot. The hottest stretch of the summer, 95 Thursday, 97 Friday, and Saturday, 96. And then you add the humidity, it's going to feel like at least 105 at times. But right now, out the door, we're looking at temperatures in the 60s and 70s. Seaford at 68, Georgetown 66, Rehoboth at 72 degrees right now. The winds are calm, and they'll be light pretty much all day. Clouds and radar, we actually have a few clouds moving moving through. They're tough to see on this particular shot, but we have them. They're a little thicker farther to the west. And then we're watching, you see a cluster of storms through Pennsylvania. And then we've got this trough that extends back into Virginia. This will be sliding to the east and this will coincide with the heating of the day. It gives us that chance for severe weather. That's why we have this yellow bullseye over uh, DC and over Del Marva as we do have a slight risk, a level two chance of seeing severe weather. We'll say mid afternoon into mid evening, a low chance of tornadoes. It's never zero with that severe weather potential. As far as hail goes, maybe small hail, stronger winds in excess of 60 miles per hour possible, but the main threat is flooding. We could see heavy rain and that could cause problems, especially in poor drainage areas. So as we go through time through this morning, we're warming up quickly through the 80s, upper 80s by noon, Georgetown, Ellendale, Selbyville, 70s and 80s along the beaches. And then by three o'clock, the storms start to pop up and they will get intense. I think as we go into to the evening. They could pack a punch with heavy rain and gusty winds and they'll last all evening long. Here's 1030. Some of those showers and storms still hanging on should be gone by about midnight and then Wednesday will start to well dry it out, but it's going to start getting hot by the afternoon. Look at this 92 in Millsboro at 430 with 70s and 80s along the beaches and that's just the beginning. Now as far as the rain goes, maybe over an inch and a half in Selbyville, Fenwick Island. So over an inch in a lot of places that get under some of those bigger storms, maybe up to a half an inch for everybody else. The muggy meter, we are humid to very humid the next few days right into this upcoming weekend. So we're going to take those intense temperatures, add that humidity, and it's feeling like low to mid 90s inland, a little cooler along the beaches Wednesday, feeling like mid 90s. And then we shoot up into the triple digits, maybe 100 to 105 on Thursday, and even worse heading into Friday, almost bordering on dangerous heat at that time. Paul Davis, seven day forecast, 88 with the storm today. Then here come the 90s. 91 Wednesday, 95 Thursday, 97 Friday with sunshine. The hottest day of the year, even 96 Saturday. Then the heat wave breaks on Sunday with some storms. 87 Sunshine Monday, 84.